Taurus placements, how you do it. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Just give me a second, Taurus. I need some water. I forgot to drink. Like, sometimes I do readings back to back and I just forget to take a break. Okay, Taurus, we'll get to your reading, goddammit. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. How do you do, Taurus? Taurus placements, let's do you a reading. Let's see. We have boundaries. Interesting. Boundaries. Number one is of significance. I'm hearing protecting your peace. Okay, let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. Taurus. Oh. Protecting your peace. More like your monies. I guess that can be peace as well. Protecting what's yours. Protecting what's yours. You know what? I'm getting a really gentle energy, but it's very assertive. Which is very interesting. Look how gentle this card is. Like, you see this man? He has a sword, but he's surrounded by flower and nature, as if, like, strong but gentle. Now, I'm not saying that you are a man or a woman. I'm just saying it's this energy of being strong if you need to, but also being gentle. Which reminds me, you know, truth, true strength. Um, what's that? What's that? Ugh, I have, I hope I can remember that. There's a quote that I really love. It takes true strength to be gentle. Yes. Thank you. It takes true strength to be gentle. And I think you are there. Okay. I think you are there. True strength to be gentle. This is the queen of swords. This queen is known to set healthy boundaries. I will fight you if I have to. But if you notice in the cards, look at like one hand is grabbing the sword and the other one is welcoming. It's open. It's extended out. It's like, come. <laughs> I'm holding the sword in case I need to protect myself. So I will allow you to come through and, you know, bring whatever that you are uh, wanting to discuss or wanting to bring into this energy. But know that I have my boundaries, you know, like, it's like gentle, but strong. I will be really nice to you. Just don't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna really be, I'm, I'm, I'm really nice. Just don't fuck with me. Because I don't, I don't want to show you how ruthless I can be. <laughs> and I feel like you're doing this, Taurus, for a good cause. Meaning that you're doing this for a good reason. You are protecting yourself your well-being, the well-being of others that you care about, or your possessions. I don't know what it is, but we'll keep it general. For some of you, uh, reputation. I'm hearing reputation. Reputation. Hmm. You are in contact with a lot of people. Meaning this could be your work life, this could be your family, this could be your social. I see a lot of people here. And the thing is, I see that you are fair. 
you don't do anything you don't have to you don't you know um, mistreat anybody it's like the only time you will show someone your bad side is when they deserve it and when they step on your toes okay because i see that you're being fair i don't think that you're doing this out of uh, pleasure or out of or just wanting to be nasty to people i see that you are protective of what you love and the people that you love. I want to see what puts you in this energy of, you know, setting boundaries. What is what is the cause of this? What is the cause of this? Maybe it's a new way of uh, looking at life or a new way of dealing with people. Let me see, because I see that there could be no reason. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so you just made changes. You just feel that it's better for you and better for the people that you care about. Maybe you were too nice, too sweet too forgiving in the past and you decided you know what i'm not going to be that forgiving that nice that sweet that welcoming anymore i'm going to set healthy boundaries with people and this energy is what you are embodying now so i don't see there is a specific traumatic experience that puts you in this setting boundaries mode in fact, I see that you're trying to uh, live a better life, a healthier life, or wanting to be... I feel like this is like a new way of uh, self-love and self-care where you don't allow just random people or circumstance to destroy peace or happiness or connections that you find worthy in your life so this is basically basically like prevention not a remedy do you know what i mean so you know sometimes when you uh, take vitamins in order to prevent yourself from getting sick rather than taking medication to uh, heal after you get sick does that make sense so this is a prevention, this is not, um, this is not because something happened, this is before it happens. Let me be in this energy before it can happen. This is for prevention, not, uh, you know, what's the other word? I can't think of it. I'm, I'm running on the last fumes of my brain. It's closer to my bedtime now. But you know what I mean, I think I, I put the idea across, you know what I mean. This is really impressive, Taurus, I must say, because it doesn't require from us to be sick, to take care of ourselves. We can prevent getting sick from the first place, so that we don't have to go through the, the ups and downs of living a better life. And I see you in this prevention mode, so that you prevent it from happening in the first place instead of dealing with it after it happens. So I like it. I like it. It's like a new you, but a new way of seeing life or a new way, want, like a new way of wanting to live your life, to better your life. So I like it, I like it a lot, I'm happy for you. Because it seems like you're doing it for the right reasons. You know? You're doing this for the right reasons. Now, what I don't understand is why this was brought to me. Is it just to reassure the energy? Or is there something else? I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I get it. <laughs> okay, here is the interesting part. Do you remember when we talked about you doing this to prevent something from happening from the first place so that you are prepared, you know, you, you keep your body healthy uh, to prevent disease or sickness? Not vice versa. You don't wait to get sick to get better. Okay, yeah, it can happen, but it's better to prevent it from happening from the first place. Here's the thing, Taurus. I think something touched me. There will be someone that will try to, infil to infiltrate the system that you have. And this is a person from the past. This is a person that you have history with. Guess what, Taurus? I don't know if you are intuitive as fuck or something told you to do this new way of living to prevent something from happening before it happens. I don't know. Maybe you had a premonition that told you build those walls because the titans are coming. You know, it, it, I don't know. You, you could be one of those. You could have premonitions for all I know. But whatever you did here, yeah, good for you because uh, it will be uh, useful soon. This prevention lifestyle will be good for, for will be for a good reason. You have someone here from the past will attempt to get close. Now this person will tell you, I have feelings for you. Um, they will tell you. I want to tell you something. I want to confess something. I want to, I want to get this off my chest. This is someone that you have a, a soft spot for, but with your prevention lifestyle, it's not going to. It's not going to uh, have a massive effect on you. We'll talk about that person in the extended. Okay, because I see. I'm going to keep these two cards because that is their energy right here. The Five of uh, Swords and the Queen of Cups. They could have water in their charts or air in their chart. But we will talk about this person because I see them trying to infiltrate the system that you have built. You know when you uh, have like, uh, like an alarm system? You don't, it's like you, you put the alarm system in case someone plans to rob your place or whatever. You have set an alarm system. You, you don't know why. Maybe you think, you know, it's time to put an alarm system because, uh, you know, the neighborhood is getting rough or whatever. And then after putting your alarm up for a month or two, a robbery happens at your place. It's like you were guided to do something before it happens. This is why I said, I don't know if you're intuitive or uh, you had a premonition. This person is going to come in or try to come in to break the boundaries that you have set, that you have uh, built, the alarm system. And so we'll talk about this person and see what they're intending to do and why they're here and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because I don't think it's a coincidence that this person is returning just after you living a lifestyle of preventing anyone from coming in that has no meaning to add to your life or that has bad intentions towards you. I think it's interesting, don't you think? Something happening like that, just after you lived or started living a certain lifestyle to prevent from people like them to return. I think it's very interesting. <laughs> we'll talk about this person in the extended. We'll see where it goes. We'll ask more questions if we need to. And uh, yeah, I will see you there.